Assalamualaikum, my name is Widi Mutakin, founder of Expo Studio and Expo Academy. In this video, I want to show you why I chose Bender over other software for architecture or interior projects. Before I start, you may be asking, who am I to make such a bold statement? Well, since the year 2000, which was 25 years ago, I have been involved in hundreds of projects, including architecture, interior design, master plans, and so on. I have worked with many clients all over the world. Besides doing projects, I have also been teaching 3D and computer graphics academically. In short, I have both professional expertise and teaching experience. For many years, I have used many different software to tackle architectural projects. Some of them are AutoCAD, SketchUp, 3ds Max, V-Ray, Corona, Rayon, and dozens of other tools, including several AI tools. Honestly, they are great tools. I didn't regret using them at all, as they get the job done very well. I even made courses on some of them and published them on Udemy, Skillshare, and several other platforms. But after using Blender for quite some time and seeing how it evolves so rapidly, I decided to completely switch to Blender. I always believed that it's not a question of if or will Blender become the new industry standard, but it was a question of when, and my prediction was true. Blender is now the standard in 3D DCC or digital content creation software. If you don't believe me, you can check Google Trends at trends.google.com. This is a free service by Google where you can compare the trend or popularity of different search terms. Here, I'm comparing Blender with Max, Maya, SketchUp, and Cinema 4D. Feel free to try this yourself and compare any 2D software that you know against Blender. As you can see, Blender is way over the top. Even the second most popular 3D software, SketchUp, is only half or about two-thirds of Blender's popularity, while others are just way, way at the bottom. Note that this is not always the case. If you look at the wider data range, back in the year 2004, 3ds Max was the king, followed by Maya. Then Real SketchUp were the underdogs. As time went by, SketchUp took over, and then Blender took over in 2020. So, if you are still thinking that Blender is just a toy for nerds, students, and hobbyists, not a serious professional app, well, think again, because you just missed the train. Now, you may argue, that is great and all, but I am an architect or I am an interior designer. I don't care about the general 3D DCC software. I prefer to use this X software or this Y web app or this Z AI tool as they are built specifically for architecture. Okay, no problem. If you have the money to pay for these apps, and you are comfortable with them, then perhaps they are the best solutions for you. But I believe that you are watching this video with a good intention to open up your eyes and mind to what is now possible using Blender. And let me tell you something that may blow your mind. You see, currently, you can use Blender for architecture or interior design projects from end to end, meaning that you can just use Blender to handle the entire workflow Whereas before, you would have needed different types of software for each stage. You can use Blender to design and render floor plans, eliminating the need to use web apps such as Rayon, Cool Home, and the like, or to use CAD software such as AutoCAD, ZWCAD, NanoCAD, and the like. After that, you can proceed to model the building or the room in 3D. You can do this also without leaving Blender. The cool thing about this workflow is that you don't need to start from scratch. You can make use of the floor plan you have created in the first stage. This is way faster and also eliminates the need for other 3D software such as SketchUp, 3ds Max, Rhino, and the like. After that, we need to render the 3D model either as an image or as an animation. Again, you can do all of that inside Blender. You can use cycles for photorealistic results, or you can use EV if you need faster but less accurate results. 
This eliminates the need to purchase third-party renderers such as V-Ray, Corona, Octane, and like, or to use real-time animation renderers such as Lumion, Enscape, E5 Render, and like. The next stage is creating the technical drawings. Believe it or not, you can actually generate technical drawings from your 3D model using Blender with the help of a free and open source add-on called Bonsai Beam. Long story short, with Bonsai Beam, you can transform Blender into a full-fledged beam software just like Revit or ArchiCAD. Yes, currently, Bonsai Beam is still in heavy development and not at the final release yet. However, it is already working and many people already use it in their daily work to edit and save IFC files, which is the open standard file format for BIM. It is amazing if you think about it, we are living in an era where we can eliminate many different specialized architectural software and replace them with just one software. This can certainly free you from the headache of having to learn many different software and jumping back and forth between them. And nonetheless, this can also save you a lot of money from having to pay software licenses. Personally, I still use two additional software beside Blender in my architecture and interior workflow. Don't worry, these two are free, or at least available in free versions. First is Unreal Engine, and second is QCAD. I use Unreal Engine occasionally, that is, only when I need to render to the animation quickly. If the deadline is more forgiving, I just use Blender and Cycles to render the animation. As for QCAD, I need it to create detailed technical drawings. Please note that you don't need to recreate everything from scratch in QCAD. You can extract the 2D drawings from the 3D model you created in Blender and then bring them to QCAD. So about 80% of your technical drawings work is already done by Blender. I use QCAD for cleaning up the drawing or removing some of the lines to make it less complicated. I also use it to add hatches, line thickness variation, and dimensions. And that's it. Again, if you don't need to produce 3D animation quickly, you don't actually need Unreal Engine. And if you are happy with the technical drawings generated by Bonsai Beam, you also don't need QCAD. I've been using this trio, Blender, Unreal Engine, and QCAD for a couple of years now, and the results have been great. Yes, it was hard at first, because not many people were doing it, so finding tutorials on the subject was a bit of a challenge. But I keep inventing and refining my own workflow in each project that I took finding new or better ways to do things, and slowly documenting all of the processes. Because I want to share all of this knowledge with other people and also make some passive income along the way, I recorded the workflow in a form of online courses. Currently, I have finished four courses on a topic. Three courses cover the fundamentals of Blender, and one course that covers full pen creation. More courses are coming, inshallah. If you are interested in learning my architectural workflow and supporting my works, you can check these courses by the link in the description. These courses are also available at Udemy and Skillshare, that is, if you prefer to use these learning platforms. I hope this video gives you a better insight into what is possible with Blender, especially in the architecture and interior design fields. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. Wassalamualaikum.